Hey again everyone, welcome back here to Marine Max in Pompano. My name is Chris Wenstrom. We're gonna be checking out a brand new 21 Montauk from Boston Whaler. This is one of the biggest 21 foot boats in class and we're gonna go ahead and just quickly walk through the exterior, show you a couple uh, ways they build the hull out to make this a very comfortable boat. Then we'll jump inside and show you some of the features on the inside. So I wanted to start here, just quickly show you the exterior. This boat was done in a full hull color of light blue with the chrome graphics. So very classic look here from Boston Whaler. Big heavy duty rub rail there to knock off any kind of chatter from bumping up against docks. So big rub rail. We'll go ahead and look up in the bow here real quick. Wanted to show you just the way they designed these Montauks with this big smirk and Carolina flair. Keeps everybody nice and dry inside the boat. And then this massive reverse chine give you a little bit more stability when we are walking around the boat fishing. So very stable boat and a very big open bow feel on this 21 foot. This particular 21 Montauk is paired with the trailer. The trailer also does include a spare tire. So this is hook up and go turnkey ready. Let's go ahead and hop inside. Now inside the cockpit here of this 21 Montauk, we're gonna go ahead and start at the aft end, work our way up to the bow. Starting here with the maximum horsepower for the 21 in the white 200 horsepower four stroke outboard from Mercury. Super quiet, very fuel efficient, great power package for this size of boat. This boat was also fitted with the teak package, which gives you a splash of teak there on your reboarding ladder and step. So you can see stainless steel grab handle there on, alongside for easy reboarding. And it also gives you a splash of teak here on the gunnel side. So if you are gonna be boarding from a dock, great place to be able to board the boat from and an extra little added touch of class there in the teak package. So staying here on the aft end, as you can see, I do have two flip up, flip down jump seats that lock in place with a stainless steel latch. Nice non-skid tread here on top if we did want to do some fishing back here, keep it from slipping. Pull the latch, opens up this very nice jump seat. As you can see, all stainless steel equipment, nice padded backrest and a very tall backrest as well. So it is a very safe feeling seat back here if we did want to ride here on the aft end. Beverage holders on opposing sides. And then as you can see, there is a receiver for a table. So you have dedicated table and leg storage. Table will pop in right here, be able to do a little serving if I want or even use it as a prep station for fishing. I do have two flush mounted rod holders on opposing sides of the motor giving me four rod holders there across the transom as well as four additional rod holders here mounted underneath the hard top so no shortage of rod holders this is also where my fuel fill is and my fresh water i'm sorry my raw water uh, pump is right here as well so that'll be the receiver for your raw water hose two speakers there mounted up against the aft end here at the leaning post, four additional rod holders he mounted here to the back of the leaning post, two additional beverage holders, and your live well, as you can see, is underneath your helm. So this is an upgraded helm seat with your live well. And then underneath the live well, I have plier, tackle storage. I wanted to hang some hooks here, I could. But the biggest thing that impresses me is the amount of room I have between my jump seats and my helm seats. So a ton of working space back here. Plenty of room around the helm seat as well, so I don't get any pinch points as I'm working my way forward. I can stand here comfortably as I work my way into the helm. With the upgraded helm seat, I do have two individual flip down bolsters. Look at the size of the pads on these, so you don't feel any of the framework when you do sit on these. Look at the hardware that holds these bolsters in place. It's not like they get bound up if you pull from one side. Very easy to operate. At the helm, Simrad multifunction display. Traditional gauges, I have all backlit switches here as well. A lockable glove box, USB port, 12 volt plug, and a JL audio head unit that is Bluetooth capable. My throttle is now a digital control, being a 200 horsepower motor, which gives me active trim, now standard on the side of the binnacle. A convenient start stop button, my kill switch right here underneath. And this boat was also fitted with its VHF radio. So. And again, with the 21 Montauk, this is the first size Montauk where I can include a full fiberglass hardtop. So beautiful amount of shade that you get in a nice color splash and that light blue coming in on the other side of the hardtop. But what I really like is the frame and the fact that it's got some contoured lines to it. it gives me a great place to be able to hang on to if I do have a passenger that wanted to stand alongside us as we're underway. So a nice structural piece there. Working our way on the starboard side of the console. I do have access down into my storage compartment underneath my console, which gives me my pump out head and also dedicated table storage. But as you can see, even in a 21 foot boat, they relieve 
the edge of my walkway just to give me a little bit more room to walk in. Storage underneath. And this is actually lockable as well. So if I wanted to put any belongings in there, if we were going out to dinner, I could lock everything away on the side of the console. Again, tremendous amount of room as I walk up into the bow. Plenty of visibility looking out through the windshield. As you can see, no crossbars. Plenty of visibility as I am looking forward, which will bring me up into my bow seating arrangement. I do have a cooler seat. This is an upgraded cooler seat, being an igloo cooler with tie downs. So this is a nice place to uh, relax, take in the view. These cushions up front are removable, which does expose my non-skid decking up front here. So if we are gonna have a day of fishing, I can remove these cushions. And look at the amount of casting space I have up front here. So this is also plugged for its trolling motor already. So this is all the wiring, all necessary components for your trolling motor. Just need to decide which one you want. But not only is the casting platform big, but also the way that this gunnel gives me an additional casting platform up in the front. So I can actually stand up front and I have plenty of room up here as well. If I was throwing a cast net, plenty of room and visibility to be able to uh, pitch a net. Four additional rod holders mounted here, two on opposing sides, two additional beverage holders, nice low profile stainless grab handle as well. My first compartment is going to be a completely finished out and insulated fish box. Gas is fits the strut mounted right in the center so I don't have to worry about this getting pinched on one hinge or another. A gasket that runs all the way underneath to keep water intrusion out. And the nice thing about this fish box is it does drain directly overboard. So there's a drain and that'll come plugged if I wanted to fill this with ice. Pull the drain, drains directly overboard, not going down into the bilge. Forward is going to be my designated anchor locker. Nice finished out underneath side of the hatch. Additional gas that sits in strut. My anchor locker will also drain directly overboard. I've got a tie off cleat and then access for my drown tackle to be able to tie off to this main cleat. And then up in the very front, as you can see, very interesting design in this forward forward cleat here and what that does is it allows your anchor rope to slide alongside and not be causing any wear and tear on any equipment up here so nice thought and that stainless steel piece to be able to guide your your anchor line out so as you see folks an absolutely massive 21 foot fishing boat here in the 21 montauk would love to have you stop by marine max here in pompano and take a look at this beautiful fishing boat with me again my name is chris wenstrom here you can contact me on my cell phone 727 Four six zero four one seven five. Thank you.